Hi, welcome to lesson 15e, Derivatives of Exponential Functions. The goal of today's lesson is to differentiate exponential functions. Sort of interesting, perhaps, or a weird coincidence, that today's lesson is 15e, and we're, ex we're exploring exponential functions, and there'll be another e that pops up to this lesson as well. So let's just say, <clears throat> for example, that f of x is an exponential function a to the power x. If we use first principles to differentiate this, we'll take f prime of x, and we know that, that is the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. We know the function is a to the x, so it's going to be the limit of a to the x plus h minus a to the x all over h as h approaches 0. So uh, this a to the x plus h, that is one of the exponent laws that we've learned many, many years ago. So we can undo that to leave us with a to the x multiplied by a to the h minus a to the x all over h, again as h approaches 0. Then now we can factor out the a to the x, so the limit of a to the x multiplied by a to the h minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0. And then because this a to the x doesn't have an h in it, we can factor that out to the front. So you have a to the x multiplied by the limit of a to the h minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0. So because we're saying that um, a to the x, well a to the x we know is the original function, and f prime of x is this a to the x multiplied by this limit here, we can say that actually this is a constant. As h approaches 0, we get that to be a constant. So what we can then say is f prime of x here is equal to, and this is a constant, k f of x, where f of x is just this a to the x that we started with. Okay, and then we'll just rearrange this briefly just to show our what we're meaning to show here. So we'll say that f prime of x divided by f of x equals k. So we're just rearranging this to isolate the k here. So in effect, f prime of x divided by a to the x is equal to the limit of a to the h minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0. So now I'll show you a little demonstration um, which will show what happens when we take this ratio of the derivative of f, uh, f prime of x or sorry the derivative of f of x which is f prime of x divided by the um, the original function f of x, which in this case is a to the power x. Okay, so here's a little um, geometry sketchpad software that I'm going to use here. Um, over here, I'm hoping you can see this okay, this is showing the ratio of the slope of this, or the gradient of this tangent line. Um, and the value of the graph, this function y, equals a to the x. Um, and right now, the ratio is 0 0.59. Right now, the function is y equals a to the x, where a, the base, is 1.8. So I'm going to put on a trace Take that off and put the trace here. So I'm going to trace this point. This is the derivative point right here. This is equal to the derivative right down here. 
And here is a point A that I'm going to move along the curve. So as I move this along the curve, oh, where's that trace gone? Here, let's go there. Okay. Okay, so while I'm, I trace this so I can see what the derivative function will look like as I move the tangent along the curve. Notice a similar type of curve as that exponential function itself. Okay, now I'm going to clear that trace for now. I'm going to now change the base. Instead of having 1.8, I'm going to change that base value to a 2. Notice now that the ratio changes to 0 0.69. I'm going to turn on this trace. We will trace the plotted point. And we see, notice that the derivative, the, the trace of the derivative, is actually getting closer to the, the actual curve we have. Okay, so I'm going to erase that trace. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to change the, the value to say 2.25. Notice now that the ratio of the gradient of this tangent line and the y value is 0.81. I'm going to put on the trace again here and I'm going to move the derivative, or I'm going to move this point A. Notice of course that the derivative is actually getting closer to that curve. I'll reset again. Now I'm going to change this a little bit higher. I'm going to change this to 2.5. The ratio is increasing more. I'm going to trace that D point again. And we notice again that the, the traced derivative point, the value of the derivative, is getting closer and closer to the actual curve that we're using. And I'll do this one more time. Now I'm going to just go jump up to 2.7. Notice that the ratio here, the ratio between the gradient of the tangent line and the value of the curve itself is 0.99. And we see that this, the d, the derivative value, is almost perfectly right on the curve that we're tracing. And without going over too much more, I'm just going to increase this value to 2.71 is the base. And we see now that the ratio of the gradient of the tangent line to the value of the actual function is going to be 1. So as we go through here, we see that the derivative value is exactly the same as the curve itself when the base of the curve, when the base of this exponential function is 2.71. If we went into further um, more detail or more decimal places, we'd see that it would be 2.71828 blah blah blah, etc which ends up being the value of e. Okay, so as we just saw, we realize that as a becomes a specific value, the base of this exponential function because it becomes a specific value, that we notice that f prime of x divided by a to the x um, equals 1 for a specific value of a meaning that our value of k equals 1, which means ultimately that this limit, which is our k, equals 1. And what that ends up being is that specific value of a being approximately equal to 2.718828 
which actually is given a specific number or a name, which is E, which is do they call it Euler's number, the natural exponential number. Um, so E equals approximately 2.71828. So if we know this, what we can do is we can now change this A to E because if A is that specific value that makes this ratio equal to 1, then we can just replace the E, sorry, the A with E to proceed with this. So we know, and I'll just flip the page here, we know that um, we're investigating uh, f prime of x divided by a to the x being equal to the limit of a to the h minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0. So we can now change this to f prime of x divided by e to the power x which is the limit of e to the h minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0. And we already know that this equals 1. So therefore, when uh, f of x, so when f of x equals e to the x, we can just take this thing and rearrange it, then f prime of x is equal to e to the power x multiplied by the limit of e to the h minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0 and we know already that this equals 1 so that means that e to the x multiplied by 1 therefore when f of x equals e to the x f prime of x equals e to the x so what does that mean? well that means that the gradient of our original function is actually the same as that function value or the y value of that function for all points on the graph. So if you were to draw, and I'll draw a very very rough sketch here, a uh, graph of y equals e to the x for example, that means that the tangent, the gradient, anywhere along this curve the gradient is going to equal e to the x. So the y value of this function will be the same as the gradient to the function anywhere along the curve. So that's pretty amazing I would say. So this then leads us to some fairly useful uh, derivative properties. Um, if f of x equals e to the x then f prime of x equals e to the x. And also if we say y equals e to the f of x, now we have a function in the exponent, then dy by dx is going to equal e to the f of x multiplied by f prime of x. Hence um, utilizing the chain rule for that. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some examples tomorrow. Um, in the meantime, what I'd like you to do is I would like you to uh, look at examples 9 and 10 on page 374, followed by taking a quick little perusal of questions 1. A, B, C, E, G, H, J, L, M, O 2. A, B, D, E, G, H 3. A, C, 4 and 6 on page 375. So that was a little explanation on 15e about exponential uh, derivatives of exponential functions using the value of e. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in class.